Did you know a simple sticker can transform your packaging into something unforgettable? Well, in this video, I'm gonna hand letter a thank you sticker from scratch using Adobe Fresco and then refining in Adobe Illustrator and then printing at home. So let's jump right in. I have Fresco open, so I'm gonna go ahead and select the drawing aids. The drawing aids are found on the bottom right hand corner of Adobe Fresco and I'm gonna place it on my canvas. I'm also gonna be selecting a vector brush. I'm going with the basic round brush for this one and I'm gonna trace around my circle and then I'll fill it with the paint bucket tool. Next, I've added some guides for my hand lettering. I love using guides because I like to make my lettering nice and balanced, but feel free to do whatever fits your brand. Maybe you don't include guides. This is totally optional. And then I'm going in with a pixel pencil brush to hand letter the thank you words onto my sticker. I'm using a pixel brush because this is the sketching phase of my process. I'm going to go over it with the vector brush. The reason being is because when I print this, I want it to look nice and crisp in case I need to scale it to be larger or smaller. The vector brush is gonna work perfectly, and when I use vector brushes, it's gonna be saved as paths when I export to Adobe Illustrator, which is really cool if you use Adobe Fresco. So I'm just about done sketching my design here. I think this looks great, something great to work off of, and I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and centered on that round pink sticker background, and then we'll reduce the opacity of that layer and we'll create a new layer above it, and this is where we're gonna be drawing with our vector brushes. The vector brushes are gonna be great because when I export to Illustrator, like I said before, it's gonna retain all of those paths. So I'll go in and start tracing my design. And whenever I am tracing my designs, as you've seen in previous videos, I like to use the roller to create perfectly vertical lines. And once I'm done doing that, I'll fill in that area. And this is a little trick I do whenever I am hand lettering. I'll make a copy of the stem of the letter because most letters can use use that exact same stem. So for example, you can see I'm duplicating this skewed rectangle and I can apply it for the H, portions of the A, portions for the N, the K, the U, the Y, even the O. So that's a little tip I have for you. That way you don't have to keep creating that same exact shape. Once I've added all of those vertical portions or the vertical stems for my letters, now I'm going through each letter and I'm gonna complete each letter of thank you. And guys, don't underestimate the use of the roller. I love using the ruler, it just makes it really easy to create vertical or horizontal lines, even diagonal lines. And I just love that it just sticks on the canvas wherever you place it, it's not gonna move. As long as you place it on the canvas and you draw against the edge of the ruler, this is one of my favorite features of Adobe Fresco. So I'm just about done hand lettering the word think. I'm gonna go ahead and skip you because you guys can get the gist of how I'm hand lettering these words. Next, I'm gonna add some faces to my sticker, some little happy faces. And again, I'm using the drawing aids, using the circle drawing aid. And the cool thing is instead of tracing around that circle, you can actually just use the paint bucket tool to fill it and it'll just fill in that shape. Now for the happy faces, I'm adding some eyes and a mouth and I'm still using the vector brushes. I'm using the same brush as before, the basic round vector brush. And my design is almost ready. I'm just unhiding some sparkles I created earlier and also hiding some of my sketching layers. So my design looks perfect. Now let's go to click on the share button. We'll click on open a copy for Illustrator on your desktop. Okay, so now I'm gonna open up my document from Fresco in Adobe Illustrator. So it's already appearing here on my screen. I'll go ahead and click on okay. So we have our design here. Everything is vectorized since we used vector brushes, which is amazing. We don't have to go into Illustrator and start vectorizing everything. Another thing to note is that I actually downloaded the template for my labels. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that as well so you can see that here. I'm just gonna take this design and place it on my template. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the entire design I'll go ahead and click on Control G on my keyboard just to group it all and then press Control C to copy it and then we'll go over here to the template and we'll create a new layer above our template and we'll click on paste Control V to paste and we'll go ahead and reduce the size here We'll make it a little bit larger and I'm gonna reduce the opacity just to make sure it's centered and that looks good. And all I'm doing now is duplicating my sticker design and placing it on my template. Remember this template came with the sticker sheet that I purchased. So that looks good. Now all I need to do is save it as a PDF and we'll go to the printer. So go ahead and click on file export for screens. And in this window, I'm just renaming my document. I'm making sure that the format is a PDF and I'm gonna export my artboard to my files. Now let's go ahead and print our sticker sheet and see how it came out. 
I'm using my Canon Pixma Pro to print my stickers and I love how they came out. The colors look amazing and on top of that the lettering looks amazing because we use vector brushes. I'm adding my stickers to some packaging and these packages are ready to be sent out to some of my customers. And of course I still can't get over how amazing this came out. So if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and share and let me know in the comments how you're using custom stickers for your business. See you guys in the next video.